Some Cleveland firefighters may soon face disciplinary action. They are accused of abusing the department's part-time job policy. Chief Investigator Carl Monday exposed the abuse last February, prompting a city hall probe. Now, Carl is back with more on what could happen next. Firefighters are allowed to moonlight, but they're limited on average to 20 hours of part-time work each week, and only with the fire chief's permission but our investigation found potentially dozens of firefighters abusing the policy right under the city's nose at Hopkins Airport. Working for a private plane the icing company called Aeromag, the city took immediate action. Um, and it's certainly something that we're going to take very seriously and we are going to be investigating it. The city has spent the past five months reviewing the part-time policies for the entire department. Now we've learned that investigation is complete. Soon, many firefighters could be disciplined, including William Kohlberg. Mr. Kohlberg? Are you Mr. Kohlberg? Yeah. Carl Monday, 19 Action News. A full-time firefighter, Kohlberg also works as Aeromag's Director of U.S. Operations. Taking a little trip? Yeah. Where are you going? Business pleasure? Uh, no comment. As a full-time Aeromag executive, Kohlberg travels around the country, earning a six-figure salary. He never asked the city for permission to work a second job. He's worked for Aeromag eight years, but the city didn't know until we told them. This is the first time we're hearing about it. As part of its follow-up investigation, the safety director's integrity control unit reviewed payroll records for all firefighters working second jobs, including those we found at Hopkins. The 20-hour part-time limit is there for a reason, to make sure that firefighters are alert and ready for action when the fire alarm rings and lives are at stake. We're told that discipline for those who violated the part-time policy will be doled out soon. We'll let you know when it happens. Carl Monday, 19 Action News.